soldier. Thanks for nothing. My dad is a soldier, and my mom says he is a lazy piece of poo. So I assume you are too. Go f- Go F yourself. Nobody likes you sincerely, Brian. <laughs> what? We just have one of those wholesome things. Come on, kids. Let Brian, let's write medals to those who serve our country. Now screw you, Brian. You get this super salty projecting little shite. <laughs> Nobody likes you. Everyone else got nice cards. Yeah, take that. <laughs> You, George, frick you, in particular. And good evening, ladies, lasses, and lasses, and welcome to the Click and George. I do indeed love you. That was just a little play for the intro, because today we're looking at r slash frick you, in particular, which is a very haha -ha tingling subreddit, and I do hope you enjoy. Mwah. And if you don't subscribe to the channel, frick you, in particular. God, I can't I can just play with this all day. My, my marketing skills are just... No, they're pretty bad. My coworker told me he got banned from a bar when he lived in North Dakota back in 1973 and didn't try going back to it for 30 years. But uh, he finally did. And the moment he stepped in, someone yelled, Get the heck out of here, Dennis! And that's probably my favorite story ever. They have, like, handed down the ban through generations. This is nuts. So, uh, I lost 8th grade presidential election five years ago, and my friend just found the guy who beat me on Tinder. University of Delaware, UD22 Computer Science, Linguistic. Still proud of the time I became class president, just to beat someone I found mildly annoying. Get wrecked, Megan. <laughs> This is some found Satan stuff. You better pick your enemies based on the most mundane characteristics. That of all the countries in the world, only Italy doesn't deserve to exist. <laughs> this is so out of context, what? Oh no, what? what? And that was it for today's class. Mm -hmm. uh, this candle company makes sense inspired by places. This is the Ohio candle. Frick, Lamau. Ohio. Not much to see, not much to do. Welcome to Ohio. The unscented candle. <laughs> it's like if you open a spice store. It's like, oh yeah, here's a sack of flour. This is the Ohio spice. Ooh, what hotness. Makes for some easy products. Live every day like your 2001 Nicole Kidman, leaving her lawyer's office after divorcing Tom Cruise. Woo! Wow. Okay. Think of it positively. You're a source of inspiration for so many people on Twitter. Is that a good thing? I don't know. Memes. Unfollowed. You're unfollowed. Number of followers this page has this morning before Mark, original commenter, had made this announcement. 20,876,858. Number of followers one hour after Mark made his departure announcement. 20,909,777. We lost one Mark. We gained 32,919 non-Marks. Today's a good day. I feel personally attacked by this. As a Mark? Ah, uh, this joke really hits the Mark. Like, literally, because he's like the target of the joke. <laughs> oh my god, I made that up all by myself. I'm so proud of myself. Can I get a race? YouTube, can I get a ra <laughs> race? <laughs> Racism. Create an account. Create an account or sign in to secure access to your Let's Get Checked account. First name, Mallory. Last name, you. Uh, last name should be at least three characters long. What? So, how the pair? Just do what every, like, Nordic country does. Just add, like, a bunch of sons afterwards. You, son. There you go. It almost sounds legit as well. Man, I'm a genius. You are such a piece of poo. I, uh, think you have the wrong number. This is Robert? Nope, Todd. Frick you, Todd. You're probably a piece of shite, too. <laughs> Better insult everyone while you're at it. Poor Todd. <laughs> Someone just woke up and chose violence for him. <laughs> r slash ask Reddit. What is a useless geography fact? Belgium. What did Belgium do? What? Just driving along this road, avoid Philadelphia. <laughs> okay. Any context in particular? No? All right. Guys, guys, guys. The history of marathons is kind of whack. A guy in ancient Greece died after running 26 miles, and what do we do to honor him? We run 26 miles and not die? People decided to just flex on him for the rest of eternity. If anyone pulls something like that on me, it's instant hands. You see, the tricks are already dead. 
And also, he wouldn't actually be able to catch them, you know, because he would just die if he tried to run after them, and they would not. So, <laughs> I think they thought this through. Do not worry about it. Paid extra for a window seat. Got to one seat on the plane with a wall. <laughs> It's still, it's still much better than sitting in the middle. God, sitting in the middle of a plane is the worst. You don't even have a wall, nor the space. You still have to crawl over someone to go to the bathroom. Worst thing ever. So at least now you have a friendly wall you can lean on. Matthew Gertz. Ah, frick. Wrong guy. Wrong guy. Wrong guy. Piece of poutine inch fricker. Shame on you. Wrong guy. Wrong guy. Do not congratulate. Congratulations on being a Republican investor for naughty abuse against a minor who can congratulate you sick. Wrong guy. Wait, he just happens to have the same name as someone who were, who was like, is that the context? <laughs> oh, that's so un unlucky. I've seen that before. Wasn't that the thing during the whole Robin Hood scandal that the CEO of that company had the same name as the CEO of some other completely random company and he got so much flack for just having the same name because people didn't know who to hate on? <laughs> God, the internet is... Uh... Beautiful place. Every time Gertz gets mistaken for Gates, uh, take a shot, you'll be dead within the hour. Oh, okay, that's the context. Yum. My toddler ran out of waffles in her pretend restaurant this morning, right after she served everyone besides me. And that's about the biggest frick you she's ever given. <laughs> it's make-believe. She could just be make-believe that more waffles appeared. But no, you haven't deserved waffles, Mom. You grounded me last week, Mom. I'll never forget about it. Mom, there'll be no waffles for you ever, Mom. And the waffles in hell are just a little bit too... Crunchy? Louisiana police officer crashes after owl flies into patrol car, starts pecking at him. And I'll do it again. Owl from Louisiana. You know those times when you feel like you're the main character in the Truman Show? Or that just some deity is out to get you? This is basically that, but with really random mundane stuff. Ben Slinney. His first day in position was September 11, 2001. Federal Aviation Administration. Oh no. Oh. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, no. Wanna know why I hate vapors? You smell donuts or cotton candy and turn a corner thinking, mmm, I'ma treat myself to something tasty, but no, it's just bread and it's cloud of lies. Disgusting. Mozart disliked to perform and named Adriana Ferrarese del Bonnet. So knowing her tendency to drop her chin on low notes and throw back her head on high notes, Mozart wrote a song with constant leaps from low to high in order to make her head bob like a chicken on stage. <laughs> It's all about getting revenge for the small things. California has been hit by nearly 11,000 lightning strikes in 72 hours. A historic lightning siege that has produced more than 367 new wildfires. <laughs> Governor has declared a state of emergency. Oh, my California, what did you do? You must have pissed off Thor or something. This is nuts. What pedestrians look like across Europe? Hmm. It looks like everyone is walking away from Poland. Oh, no, poor Poland. Oh no! And they're just awkwardly standing there and everyone else is just like, nope, not. <laughs> I have just been made aware of a painter, Alex Schaefer, who paints banks on fire and I feel so calm. That is such a specific motive. I love this. Imagine training like the military for 10 years just for this to happen. Oh, you have a vice or schlibbity bloop? Too bad. In 1957, Richie Ashburn hit a foul ball into the stand that struck spectator Alice Roth, a sports reporter's wife, breaking her nose. When play resumed, Ashburn fouled off another ball that struck her while she was being carried off in a stretcher. What's the odds of getting hit by lightning twice? Uh, the answer is not that unlikely, apparently. I, uh, what does this even mean? Hello, Jeffrey. Unfortunately, due to company policy, we are unable to offer positions to people with the name Jeffrey. <laughs> Since it will not work with our database schema. <laughs> what? You were really fricked from birth, weren't you? You know when they say like, oh, I was born for this? You were literally born for not this. The only Japanese person who survived the Titanic lost his job because he was known as a coward in Japan for not dying with the other passengers. It's just like damned if you do and damned if you don't. Man, the game is rigged, I swear to God. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, wait, that's... Really? You have a water leak with high pressure just spraying all over specifically the one thing in the room that is electric. The very expensive computer three-screen setup. Oh, that is so painful. Oh my god. How did that even happen? 
1998, Honduras built a bridge over the Coloteca River, but Hurricane Mitch rerouted the river. Haha, <laughs> you spent money on this? Well, that freaking sucks. Let me just move the river. Can you imagine the cars just driving up on this bridge? <laughs> and it's like, oh, then just blop down into the <laughs> water right afterwards. It's basically just a ramp to launch into the river at this point. Do not play ACDC on this jukebox. Your song will be skipped. No refunds. I hate ACDC. Aaron Morse, owner. Do not play ACDC. Please do not play ACDC. Also, you cannot play Nickelback, Hubel, Stank, Matchbook 20, Hinder, Buck Cherry, Def Leppard, the song Wagon Wheel, or any other shitey, overplayed music. Thank you for your patronage. No! ACDC. I wonder if he likes Wonderwall. Do you think he likes Wonderwall? We can play Wonderwall. <laughs> you think that's cringe? Italian moms wait nine months to end up naming their kid Giuseppe. Frick you, says Giuseppe. <laughs> you will never recover from this Giuseppe. Can't stop thinking about people that first ate mushrooms they found and just had to go on trial and error like this. This one tastes like beef, this one killed Brian immediately, and this one makes you see God for a week. <laughs> they have a parody of this in the show Norseman, I think it is. They just have a notebook and they like walk around the servants or something in the woods. And it's like, okay, uh, servant, eat that mushroom. Mm, he's alive, okay, edible. So eat that... Oh, he died. That that must have been how they did it, right? Or maybe they like, you know, stalked animals and see what animals ate. That will, that could also be a possibility, because animals are way smarter than we are when it comes to mushrooms. Welcome to Scotland. Cut your own freaking gross England. Look at that. There's no gross cutting for you, no freebies. Oh, it's just a wee bonny shite. New skeleton found in Pompeii. This guy was running from the eruption when a 300 kilogram boulder <laughs> hit him right in the face. Oh my god, that is so unlucky. Was he far enough out that he would have made it if the boulder didn't like face smack him? Oh, that's so sad. My mate took two weeks off work, went to Africa, climbed Kilimanjaro and raced over 300 grand for charity. Having hiked and climbed for seven days, he reached the summit and asked his guy to take a picture before his iPhone battery died because of the minus 25 cold. And here it is. Woo! Kneecaps. <laughs> Can you even see that? That is what does the sign say? I I can't read that. Well, allegedly he was there. Meow. Lemfabre. Why is my professor a cat? I went to school for seven years to get this job. Maybe if you didn't come to class late with the Starbucks cups every day, you'll know Valentina. Man, professors can be grumpy, but I think having a cat as a professor would just be really bad. Bart. Bart. Tender. Mmm, I will chew your flesh. In the Lucifer series, Lucifer is shown to be the only angel to have British accent. This is because after ruling hell for a millennia, he picked up the accent of the most common people found in hell. British people. <laughs> you know, it's not the same kind of immersion if, if the devil had a Swedish accent. Oh, hello, Betty. You have been a very naughty girl. Time to burn in eternal hellfire. Wow, it's not very intimidating when you say it like that. Imagine getting arrested, and a cat just comes along and uh, frickin' sits on you. Hmm, yes, this is my nest now. If my day wasn't bad enough, at least it didn't puke on you. Black lives matter more than Italian. <laughs> the oddly specific jabs. Take that, Italians. Why no one takes my Sharpie. Mmm, oh, so you have like a yellow lid, that's super smart. I work in aerospace facility where you can only use black ink on any official paperwork. Had a pen thief in the house, so I bought two packs of Pilot G2s. One colored and one black. Switched all the ink cartridges up, so not only did I never have another black pen stolen, but the pen thief was found with pink ink on some control documents. Suck it, Tim. Well, that is called for. That is called for. Tim was a rascal, and he got what was coming to him. Enjoy the flights! Everyone has this little entertainment station except you. You can revel in your boredom now. <laughs> I remember back in, like, the early 2000s when every airplane had these, and they all had, like, really crappy games and stuff. It was like, you know, Snake or, I don't know, Space Invaders, like, off-brand versions. <laughs> Before the age of iPhones. This is, like, the biggest frick you in history. The tank man, that's so glorious. Have you seen the video where they actually zoom out? And it's not only one tank, it's like an entire line of like hundreds of military vehicles and everything is just stuck and jammed because he's standing there with like a grocery bag. It's absolutely glorious. That video is so cool. The mobile phone, April 3, 1973. The world's first mobile phone call was made on April 3, 1973, when Martin Cooper, a senior engineer at Motorola, called a rival telecommunications company and informed that he was speaking via a mobile phone. That is such a flex! Jesus Christ! <laughs> 
Yeah, still a little bit of friendly rivalry. So here we got the flying in a nice little airplane. Jim is a loser. Lol, get wrecked, Jim. The story of Nigel Richards, the man from New Zealand who memorized every French word in the French Scrabble dictionary and won the French Scrabble championship without speaking any French. I am in awe of this man's dedication to never learning French. <laughs> censored French. I will make sure no one that actually speaks the language wins. <laughs> Dogs only, no seagulls. But there is a seagull and it's doing the drinkies. <gasps> Do you want a tame seagull? Maybe not. It would be pretty annoying. I want a duck. Why can't I have a duck? God, this life is a scam. Stop talking trash about our local wildlife. Raccoons are resourceful. Possums are intelligent. Squirrels are good climbers. Owls are very wise. Geese. Dear are gentle. Hmm, very nice. When you are a millennial who somehow managed to get a house, but frick you. Whoops! Demolition company accidentally tears down wrong house! How? How? Can you imagine that? You come home from work with a grocery bag like, la di da -di. Where did my house go? In 2002, Pope John Paul II requested that the media stop referring to the car as the Popemobile, saying the term was undignified. In 2007, the Popemobile... <laughs> it sounds like an off-brand version of the Batmobile. If the Pope turned into like a superhero or something, they just went around with like a water gun sprinkling holy water at villains. This would be the Popemobile. Uh, what the frick? X videos. This ugly son of a bish is doing the naughties to super hot chicks. <laughs> and it's the guy that just stole his profile picture for a garbage ad. Oh my god. This is what happens when you agree to Facebook's terms of service. They just do whatever they want with your picture and they sell them to X video to make very less than uh, complimentary advertisements. I offered to buy the admin team lunch today because they worked their butts off all months and I asked if they had any requests. And a lady who tells me my head is stuck up my butt once a week said, literally anything but Olive Garden. Enjoy all you can eat Olive Garden, Stephanie. We family at this company, Stephanie. We're family here, Stephanie. Oh, the company spirits. If there ever is a company that says like, we're like family. No, we're not family. For God, no. Jesus Christ. Danger due to dog's decision making process. A mega dog, you poo. Brian, do not touch my food. I have seven shrimp and 4,728 rice. Brian is known for, <laughs> for stealing stuff. In 2017, scientists began a global search to find a mate for Jeremy, a rare left-coiled snail. Since his shell coiled in the opposite direction of most snails, his organs couldn't align with others. Two contenders were found, but they mated with each other instead of Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy be like, virginity is my passion. Oh, Jeremy. <laughs> When life just double fricks you. Oh god. And not frick you like that. It's like frick you in the bad way. The goal was to get fricked, but life fricked him instead. Geese not wanted. Let him in. That sign is rude and evil. One of the funniest things I've ever witnessed was when the strobe light GTC was malfunctioning and was terrorizing this guy specifically. Oh my god. He looks like a hologram. Oh dear god, it's not even a full place. How did you manage to single him out? We went to the planetarium today, and the voiceover said, This is the Earth, and one of the kids booed. <laughs> this is the Earth. Boo! Down with Earth! Yeah, yeah! Stupid kids. R slash hypothetical situations. You now have the ability to control the weather. How would you put your power to use? If I could control the weather, I would make sure that farmers have the optimal growing conditions for their crops so more food can be grown to reduce food poverty in all parts of the world. Smiley! That's gay, I'd flood Rome. The duality of man. What the frick is wrong with people? There is a literal island made of garbage out here in the sea. Oops, wrong pick, here's the actual one. And it's England. Oh, very beautiful. <laughs> I see the joke is towards the English r slash ask reddit you have unlimited money what is the first thing you'd buy my mother-in-law her own place so she can move out yeah good idea i will use my unlimited money to bribe and provide whatever resources are necessary to get this guy's mother-in-law to move back into his place hello satan very nice to have you walking the earth once again uber facts in 1719 prisoners in paris were offered freedom as long as they were willing to marry a prostitute and move to louisiana <laughs> what that is so oddly specific is this real oh my god range of honeybees and they stay out of a very specific region. I suppose it's just too dry and hot. 
But like, it looks so funny. It's the only little place that they don't go to. Pet blah 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 reservoir characterization. Quiz 10 points. 1. Sit quietly at your desk for a few minutes. Get up and say, hmm, that was easy, and turn in your quiz. Do not say anything to Jerry and Robbie. And they say college would be harder than high school. I am dying to know what Jerry and Robbie did to invoke the wrath of the professor. That is so evil. I need to do this at some point to get back at someone. You know when you have like one of those quirky quizzes at a party and there's one person you want to mess with? You just give them a super long and complicated quiz that you know they can crack if they really put their mind into it. Like, you know, one of your mathy friends. You give them a long freaking math quiz and everyone else has like a one question that is just this. And they just sit there for another 15 minutes like, how the... F <laughs> Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Uh, I just got a rejection for a job I never applied for. Let me find what? We don't know who you are, but we don't freaking want you. Just, just stay the frick away from us. <laughs> uh, and they say rejection stings. Ever been rejected for something you didn't even want in the first place? God, life sucks. In my sixth grade science class, a girl read orgasm instead of organism, and the class laughed, and she was embarrassed. To calm her down, our teacher told everyone would forget it in two weeks. <sighs> it's been nine years, and I still remember... Danielle, I freaking remember. I hope you see this. Oh, that's beautiful. You know how they usually say when you lie awake at 3 a.m. and you think about your cringy moments in life, you're the only one who remembers them. And that goes the same for everyone. Except for you, Danielle. Yay, massive barbecue. Thousands of people plan to attend a barbecue in front of the home of a vegan Australian woman who took her neighbors to court over the smell of meat cooking in their own backyard. <laughs> Only a few hundred California condos live in the wild, but about 20 teamed up to trash one woman's deck. Mm, very beautiful. Nature in action. I have been David Attenborough. A try an experiment with photosynthesis. 1. Put two mice in two containers, but put a plant in the bottom of one. 2. The mice without a plant will die because it ran out of oxygen. 3. By performing this experiment, we have proven some serious psychological problems. Seriously, it was just photosynthesis. We know about it already. Herbert died. For nothing. Herbert! Why? February! Shortest month and you select me? This will not be forgotten. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> select language. Please select the language you would like to write while running Steam. Chinese. Simplified. Chinese. Traditional. Danish. Dutch. English. Traditional. English. Simplified? <laughs> Take it that, Americans. <laughs> a student loan company accidentally sends Ohio man 55,000 copies of the same letter about a daughter's tuition. The letter didn't even contain the correct information. <laughs> well, if you have like an open fireplace, you have fuel for like the rest of your life. So in one way, nice. But think about the tree. Height, 5'2", 99. Frickers couldn't even give me 5'3"? How does that even happen? <laughs> Take that. Am I petty? Someone wrote, Not funny, on my tweet in 2019. I have catfished him for two years, made him fall in love with me. He is meeting me at a restaurant for the first time tonight. I won't be there. The waiter will give him a note that's just my tweet he commented on. You should have rethought your choices. Hatred comes back around. I am not petty about small things. You didn't like my tweet, you filthy creature. Diebot. Oh, it's German. It's Diebot. D. Please visit Bart.com for Diebart. Frick you, Debbie. You office lunch eating bish. Not Debbie's. 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 Nothing is Debbie's. What scares you the most? The unstoppable marching of time that is slowly but guiding us all towards an inevitable death. Dylan. What scares you the most? Dylan. Yes, Dylan. One divided by 998001 is this. If you divide 1 by 998001, the result will contain every number from 000 to 999, except 998. Take that, you so filthy number. In memory of Ellen Shannon, age 26 years, who was fatally burned March 21st, 1870, by the explosion of a lamp filled with red... Red Danford's non-explosive <laughs> burning fuel. <laughs> oh, the irony. A tropical storm bearing my mother's name is heading for the beach where my dad is supposed to get married this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Me, being waterboarded. Gross, is this Nestle? Yeah. In the mid-1800s, France gave out a crucial patent in photography for a free gift to the world. Except for Britain. They had to pay. <laughs> 
No, we are not uh, petty. Christian girls be like, There is no one else on this planet like this man. God broke the mold when he made you. And it's just Connor, human equivalent of a Honda Accord, whose favorite food is toast and thinks taking off your bra is adequate for play. <laughs> oh, Connor! Oh, why? Connor, if you need some comfort, I am here, Connor. I am actually not wearing a bra today, Connor. What is special about the party? Jim won't be there. Oh, thank God. Welcome, all colors, all sexes, all orientations, all religions, all cultures, all abilities. All ages, all sizes, except the Danish. Love lives here. Ah, oh, yes, love thy name, not Danish. Tom Brady says drinking water prevents sunburn. Twitter calls him out. Ignore Tom Brady. 37 glasses of water a day is too many. Tom Brady's water habit could kill an ordinary person. Tom Brady is trying to kill you. <laughs> it really escalated. Oh my god. This is just clickbait magazines in a nutshell, I swear to God. It says I, who does like clickbait YouTube videos, but it's funny because it's all about the mamoos. Korean girl, Yuna Song. Hot Korean girls, Michelle Kim, Pete Tag. But, but what about Yuna Song? What? So you single out one person in the movie credits who isn't hot Korean girl? Oh my God. Next time you're afraid to share ideas, remember someone once said in a meeting, let's make a film with a tornado full of sharks. We're not calling out anyone in particular. You have been permanently banned for participating in r slash you can still view and blah blah blah. Note from the moderators. No reason, just frick you. Oh! Oh! oh ah. Bros from Eastern Europe be like, hello friend, my name is Gregor Sh- blah 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 blah. Ah, uh, hey, blah, 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 they, they tagged you. Freak you! Oh, poor Gazorg. <laughs> Tons of names on my phone are Kenny Landlord and Mike Electric or Pete Do Not Answer. And I just realized this is how Anglo surnames have always worked. Yeah, that's how it works. That's how names used to work way back in the day. Pete Do Not Answer Sin. R slash ask Reddit. What is the worst state you've seen a public bathroom in? New Jersey? No, that's that's not what I meant. <laughs> New Jersey. The five girls who will absolutely ruin your life. Julia, 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 if you're reading this, bring my goldfish back. How can you do that? How can you take the man's goldfish, please? Did this fish just fly oh. all the way from the ocean? Poor over fish. Here. Yes. Let's put you back. Oh, yes, put it back. Oh my god. I really don't know how the f this just happened. No, it's a very poor fish. Like, actually, what the f But it's so good that you're saving the fish. Ah. Bye, dude. It will so live long. to see another day. That's so wholesome and sweet. Is he okay? Ah, he's gonna be fine. He's just a bit dizzy. Oh. <gasps> it's a dolphin! Oh my god, he's playing fetch with me! That's why! <laughs> <laughs> Poor fish! He was so close! But no, no, you didn't survive, fish. I'm sorry. It was a bit of a fishy situation after all. Damn, that was a good joke, because dolphins are fish. Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed today's video, you beautiful bean, and I do hope you have an awesome time until I see you in the next video to ruin yet another day. Stay safe and, and, and snazzy. Mwah.